Reagan's strong-handed response to the Professional Air Traffic Controllers Organization, PACCO, strike in 1981 precipitated a seismic shift in labor negotiations within the United States. His decision to fire 11,345 striking workers very visibly eroded the bargaining power of labor unions, signaling a profound change in the dynamic between labor and management in American industries. From the outset of the Reagan administration, unions had hoped for allies in negotiating for wage increments and improved working conditions. However, PATCO's failed strike signaled the beginning of an era where it seemed management, even in private corporations, had been awarded unwavering federal support to stay away from the negotiating table. Reagan's public dissolution of PATCO not only removed a significant political impediment to his re-election bid, but had long-lasting implications, setting the stage for a precarious imbalance of power that favored employers over their employees. This shift saw real wages stagnate even as productivity rose. The cumulative effect of Reagan's PATCO decision is the unsettling reality that, for most workers, real wages, adjusted for inflation, have seen little to no growth over the last four decades, despite swelling corporate profits and productivity. The fewer, less influential unions, lacking the collective bargaining power to effectively negotiate, are largely unable to push back against these forces and secure their fair share. In this way, Ronald Reagan's resolution of the PATCO strike played a pivotal role in setting the trajectory of American labor movements. It became a watershed moment that forever changed the collective bargaining landscape, contributing significantly to the widespread wage and employee benefits stagnancy of subsequent decades. Word.